Disclaimer before the video starts. This video was recorded on July 20th, 2021, scheduled to release on the 24th. I spent almost the whole day editing it. It was short, it was funny, it had a clickbait thumbnail as a joke, and it showed off a cool glitch I found. A day later, the game was updated to include the new Inazuma region. I went to go make sure the glitch still worked. Fun fact, it doesn't anymore. It moves your camera slightly, but it doesn't do the original effect. Thanks, MiHoYo. Anyway, I'm not gonna let the footage go to waste, so I'm uploading this now and adding this disclaimer. Now presenting a glitch that doesn't work anymore. Hope you enjoy. So I found a glitch in Genshin Impact. Let me explain. For this glitch, you will need the newest character, Kaede Harakazuwa, who is the best character in the game and no one can tell me otherwise- <clears throat> Sorry, we're getting a bit off track. You can obtain him by going to the wish menu and- Oh. Well anyways, the second part of the setup is to have the hangout event for Barbara unlocked. The unlock criteria are that you must be at Adventure Rank 26 and have completed the quest Prologue Act 3, Song of the Dragon and Freedom, which is a fancy way of saying beat the Mondstadt Archon quest. And finally, you will need two story keys. These are unlocked by completing eight daily commissions, so you need to play for four days and do all the daily commissions on that day. The setup is this. Step 1. Go to the Mondstadt Cathedral and initiate the Barbara Hangout event. The easiest spot in the event I found to perform this glitch is in the section Deaconess's Gratitude. Step 2. Skip through Barbara's dialogue because we don't care about her and she isn't important to the glitch. Step 3. Walk up to Sister Victoria with Kazuha in the active party. You want to activate his Chibaya- Chibi- Chibi- Yer- His elemental skill and interact with Sister Victoria at the same time. It may take a few tries to get the timing right, but you'll get it eventually. Two things of note. 1. Do not try and hold down Kazuya's skill. This will make the dialogue prompt on Sister Victoria disappear. It's not a big issue, all it'll do is make you need to retry the glitch after the skill's cooldown expires. 2. In some cases, I found that dashing towards Victoria, off the railing next to her, then performing the glitch, sometimes gets better results, but it's harder to activate. Step 4. Watch as the Traveler ASCENDS TO THE HEAVENS, or something to that effect. You may get varying results with this glitch. Sometimes he slides, sometimes he flies, I even got this glorious image right here the first time I activated it. Here's what I think is happening. Normally, when you talk to Sister Victoria, your character model switches back to the Traveler, as with most story quests. I think this interrupts all animations and keeps the Traveler standing completely still, in midair. You know, like people do. The reason you wanted to do this on the Barbara Hangout event is because, to my knowledge, it is one of the only repeatable quests in the game that does not involve a perspective switch, e.g. when interacting with the Hangout event character. Maybe Noelle and Deanna's quests also do this, but I haven't unlocked them yet. So anyways, that's the first Genshin Impact video on my channel since my original video got corrupted upon recording. I hope you liked it. Also, if you're still watching, you probably won't mind if I shill a bit, so please subscribe if you're just discovering my channel. I do a lot of fun game videos and stream pretty often. Mihoyo, please don't remove this glitch, it's awesome. Yeah, about that.